Hi, this is Michael France with Brass Otter Studio, and welcome to my workshop. So yeah, um, it was COVID. COVID happened to everybody, um, and Aramont, the school shut down because we realized we weren't going to have classes that summer, obviously. You know, all the alone time that we spent uh, hanging out with our thoughts, we really realized that what we wanted was our own land and our own space to live with a studio on the property and space to garden and some friends to do it with. Um, and then, yeah, within, within six months, we were here um, and trying to figure out how to wall in our barn and scoop all of the manure out and start putting gravel in to, yeah, make it presentable and usable. Before college, I was always a weird, tinkery kind of kid, uh, building little tree houses or forts or things outside, uh, potato cannons, uh, whatever I could figure out how to make. Went to college, uh, found a furniture making class, um, and yeah, started working with like nice quality woods and things. Um, really seeing that like using your hands is a really like it was it really like triggered something inside of me that felt right. Um, something that like, yeah, my science and math track that I was on didn't satisfy. This is, this is the lathe. Um, it's used for turning uh, wood or other cylindrical materials, um, like these turned little ends. Uh, then my sewing machine, um, my Janome sewing machine is, uh, yeah, my favorite piece of equipment to use, um, but yeah, it's heavy enough to where I can sew, uh, you know, almost a quarter inch of leather, um, so I can make nice small bags and things um, without struggling or fighting it. And then, yeah, like my riveting and hammer setup. I keep my riveting hammer here, like my little chasing hammer, um, all my basic tools for all the different little hammer and fasteners. Um, all my tiny nails and things. I'll be working out in the field one day or like picking raspberries or something. And then I'm like, I really want a thing. I really want a bag pouch that I can like hang on my pants or on my overalls or whatever to be able to like sit and pick my berries and put it in without having to hold a basket. And then so I, you know, end up coming up with a little berry pouch design with like hooks on it so you can just hang it wherever. Um, so I can sit and pick berries like a little bear. So a lot of times it's me doing these weird little prototypes um, for myself, uh, and then somebody else sees it and expresses that they would also enjoy that. Um, so then I make a few and have like a little sale and see how it goes of making like five of them. And then if those sell out, then I start, I realize that there's like this, there is a want among people more than just myself for these things, so then I start like keeping them in stock and try to always have a couple around for when somebody reaches out and does want one. I've always been somebody that kind of jumps from like making a knife to doing some weird woodworking project or I'm never doing the same thing over and over again. Um, so yeah, lately, ever since Aramont, I've been slowly trying to build my skills and develop the craft sense of these new materials that I'm working with. Um, well, yeah, trying to find how they interlock together and they can intersect and create like something that feels kind of fresh or something that feels like it did come from me. There's this feeling I guess I'm searching for whenever I'm making new things. Something just speaks to me.